Happy Friday and welcome, Internet, to episode one of the Simic Military Intelligence deck. This one is for Black Barney, who predicts that I will not win a single game, or we'll just do absolutely terrible with this deck. I mean, it could happen, but I'm going to run it out anyways. So we're at Dog Password. And here's the old double quickling hand, but... Yeah, we got a visionary. So I'd like to draw a military intelligence, get the get the train going, or we just uh, have an endless train of elvish visionaries. I could have just quick linked the Kraken hatchling there to you know, get some pressure in the sky, but this is better if we actually draw military intelligence. Alright, so he's already, was that, four colors? He's gonna hit for one, and then we'll quickly end the turn, and then possibly play two Elvish Visionaries. Too bad I don't have a pest right here. Tap the shit out of his land. Here's a Wall of Omens. Probably has a shock for this quickling, but so be it. Okay, we're actually going to pre-combat this just in case we rip in military intelligence. We do not. So we'll leave open the other quickly. Could be walking right into an anger of the gods, but what can you do? Alright, so if he had a shock, I imagine he would use it there. So I'm not going to put him on a shock. He might not even be playing red. Demolish, okay. What did he hit? Did he hit one of our forests? I didn't even look. I don't even really think it matters. I hit an island? Okay, good. So yeah, so if he needed, if he needed that list, he definitely wants to be hitting. I mean, there is a Hall of Triumph that really only represents two extra damage right now. So I want to see again if we can draw into another military intelligence. Let's see. Do I want to get in? No, I just want to draw more cards. It's not. It's not time for a Timberland guide yet. Wall of Omen, this is some weird land, I mean obviously it's some weird land destruction deck. But Wall of Omens into Demolish. That is certainly something. But hey, at least, you know, our Hall of Triumph could actually get hit by that. He just has nothing. So let's just try and hit that military intelligence again. Okay, there's a pester mite. So we take him down to eight. Okay, he's gonna peel. Question is, he, he probably wants to planar cleanse. So, can we beat him? We'll take him down to f four. Yeah, actually, I think we can beat him if we uh, tap down one of his. We're just going to do that now. 
so you don't get cleansed. Um, yeah, let's tap down the blue. Since he did show his peel from reality already. He'll probably replay Wall. I was going to play Bane Slayer. Okay, here's a wall. We only got red mana open. Okay, there's the military intelligence, but let's see if we can win now. So we have four in air, six. I think we got it. As long as he has nothing. So let's do this. And we're not going to play the intelligence. I have a feeling we're going to be playing a cleansed if we don't win this turn. But this should do it. Yep, there we go. I don't know if he had the planar cleansing, but we played around it. So yeah, that was a, that was a strange deck. Let's see if we can get in another game real quick, or if I'm gonna have to be editing some videos because that was only six and a half minutes. I mean, the way that guy played, like that was just like fire alarm planar cleansing. I'd have to imagine he had it. Okay, it doesn't look like we're going to find the game again in a timely manner. That first game I found them really, really quick. But I guess not now. Alright, we'll be back. Oh, wait, no, wait, wait, wait. We found one. Hello, and Mickey 916 Welcome to the party. So... We did something against the mostly do nothing deck, so yay us. Alright, Shore Stalker, Shore Stalker, military intelligence on the draw. I'll keep it. If we start shocking shit. Yeah oh boy. Not a good matchup. Auras, red decks. I don't know, maybe this deck has a lot of bad matchups. <laughs> well, there's the. There's the Beastmaster Ascension. Okay. Let's just, do I want to race this guy? Not yet. Okay, there we go. Some good stuff. We got a blocker. And then we can start uh, getting intelligent here. My question is, I just want to... I mean, the whole reason to draw extra cards is to get a win con like that on board. Alright, there's Mentor to Meek. But I don't really care too much. I think I'm gonna get the Beastmaster on board. Oh, yeah, there's Master Wave, so. Let's do this now. And hey, look at that, we're gonna trigger it with the Kraken Hatchling. Fuck yeah. Just takes the zero from Kraken Hatchling. That's awful. We're gonna master for uh, a lot of tokens. Okay, there's a Grimoz. Alright.
He does not swing with the Bushwhacker. Uh, probably because he wants to uh, double block the the Shore Stalker. All right, let's get counter number four on this bitch. All right, and then his master waves are bust. Did the volume just die on my? There's some bullshit happening with my fucking Xbox audio. I don't know what the fuck is going on. All right, so he's going to be making lots of dudes. Yeah, the audio just died on my Xbox. I hope you guys can still hear me. The computer says you can. Alright, so he's just going to give me a... I don't know why he'd do that. I guess he's just giving up. Because he's going to take 10 million damage. Hey, look. Oh, baby. A double Beastmaster Ascension. We'll just show it to him. BM. BM. I mean, we're not, we're not dead on the crackback, so... He just takes it. Alright. So I actually am going to pause this video. I'll probably uh, just make another one. I gotta see what's going on with this audio. I'll be right back. Yo, what up, internet? We're back. I believe I have solved the audio problem. And by solved, I mean it just came back on its own. But, I don't know, maybe there's like, out of the 550 or so subscribers I have, maybe there's like two of you who like listening to the in-game audio. I'm gonna draw again, but we have a win con. We don't have a one drop, which sucks. But, what can you do? No one drop on the draw with a deck like this. Kind of bad. It all depends on what we're playing against. Playing against, uh, probably playing against a young Pyromancer. Oh wait, there we go, one drop. Excellent. Well, this looks like we're going to Beastmaster or Bust again. Another tap lands. Play a shit ton of tap lands. Nope. Yep, it is it deck. Can't really do much against this. And there is a Brackwater Elemental. I like that. So we'll probably take this first Kiln Fiend hit. And then we'll go from there. Oh man, look at that. Hello Beastmaster. We think we so golden against something else. Yeah, you take this first Kiln Fiend hit, and then oh yeah. Here comes the parade of shocks. He can either think twice, double artful dodge, or he's just going to go bananas. Alright. So we'll probably just pestermite that down next turn. Because I imagine I'll have a vapor snag for a blocker. But he's down, back down with three cards. So we'll swing. We'll buy ourselves a turn to uh, get some defenses up. I mean, I could have played the Chasm Skulker and left the Shore Stalker back, but that's not good. You stay there and think about what you've done for the time being.
Electromancer. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to have time to play this Skulker. But I will have time to play this Brackwater Elemental. Um, I'm not blocking with this Shore Stalker, so let's get in for one. Death by a thousand cuts. Hopefully he just runs out of gas. Hopefully he doesn't have to think twice. But right now, yeah, we're just trying to run him out of gas here. He might be regretting blowing that second shock. I mean, it was worth an extra... 5 damage. So basically he lava axed me for 1. Oh no. He swings with both, I'll block both. I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'm actually more excited to do that. Because you know why? Because if he draws into another shock, he's going to have a hard time killing this Brackwater. Probably should have just swung there. I don't know. Now, if I Hollow Triumph, I can use the Shore Stalker as a blocker. Might actually do that. We're going to do that. I want to hold off on blocking with this Brackwater Elemental as long as possible. Since it doesn't die to shock. Uh, four lands. Yeah, we're kind of construed on mana here with all these three drops. There are a lot of three drops. Let's see if he's got something. I don't think he has another spell. He doesn't. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Actually, want to evolve that raptor with the Chasm Sculptor first, before I start playing Brackwaters. Alright, you can start getting in. So down two cards, I don't know what he could have. It's another fucking Charmbreaker Devils, I'm gonna lose my mind. Just get one counter on this Chasm Sculptures. Ah, oh, fuck. So he obviously just drew that. He can dodge the Electromancer for another five damage. What? I don't know if that's the play, dude. I mean, we're just, he just dodges the, I mean, yeah, I guess you switcheroo, no? No, he switcheroos now. He gets in for seven, and he just has to artful dodge one more time. But he's just going to get in for the nine now and hope to uh, top deck us with shock. Does he have the shock? We know he has switcheroo. Alright, so we're at 12. So I guess, do we leave a blocker back? That's the question. Seven, nine, twelve. I mean, it's definitely got to be that. It's 
definitely got to be that. I think this is good. He used both Artful Dodges. We can just unearth that later. Alright, we know he has switcheroo. Fuck! No, come on, man! He top decked the land. He either top decked that Titan or top decked the land. So, whatever. He top decked us. We couldn't have won that turn. Always Inferno Titan, man. It's always the fucking Inferno Titan that gets us. But, uh... Sure. Alright, so that's about 20 minutes with that video. So, so good for him. He obviously top decked us that, that last turn. We knew one of his cards was Switcheroo. So his other card was an unknown. His other card was either a land or an Inferno Titan. And then on that last draw step, he needed to top deck a land or an Inferno Titan to win. Or, you know, he could have top decked Shock. He could have top decked another Artful Dodge. Whatever. The fact is, we got top decked. No matter what it was. No matter how likely the top deck would have been to kill us, it was still a top deck. But, okay. So, two out of three ain't bad. And, you know, for. Who's that? Who are the haters that say? That was three straight 60 card decks. So. There you go. Alright, we'll be back later for another episode of Simic. Till then, thanks for tuning in. Happy Friday, have a good weekend and all that. And take care. Bye.